Hello everyone, welcome to Apps Script Bytes, brought to you by TechLever, your go-to series for learning Google Apps Script. Today, we're building a powerful Google Drive image importer that pulls images into your Google Sheet. We will start with a simple function that can be triggered using a button or a custom menu item and enhance it incrementally to make it a production-ready image importer. By the end of this tutorial, we will have built a sleek sidebar with two buttons to import images into the sheet and also to the sidebar itself. We will also generate a web app out of this that will open as a nice property listing catalog. Let's get started! For step-by-step -step guidance, I'm using my tutorial blog at techlever.in, which is designed for level-based learning, perfect for breaking down this Google Drive image importer into clear, manageable steps. I will be using it to copy and paste the code into my script editor. You can find its link in the description below. Let's dive in. First, head to sheets.new to create a fresh Google Sheet. I will name it Google Drive Image Importer. Then add a new sheet called Config. Next, go to Extensions in the menu bar and select App Script. This will open the script editor in a new tab. Now, let me copy the code. And I will paste the copied code into the editor. This block of code defines two functions. The Insert Images function grabs the Google Drive folder ID from the config sheet and calls Insert Files into Sheet. The Insert Files into Sheet function retrieves all files from the specified folder, creates a table with file names, thumbnail URLs, and embedded thumbnail images, and writes them to the active sheet. Now, we need to provide the folder ID in the config sheet. You can find the ID in the folder's URL. Copy it. Go to your config sheet and paste the copied folder ID in cell A1. Then, go back to the script editor and hit Run. For the first time or whenever you change the code that alters the scope of this project, it will ask you for authorization. Grant all the necessary permissions. If required, click Run again. Your images are now imported with their file names, thumbnail URLs, and clickable thumbnails ready to use on any website. Let's make this easier with a button. Insert a shape in your sheet by going to Insert and then Drawing. Create a rectangle, properly format it to your taste, label it Import, and save it. Then drag it to the appropriate place. Then right-click the button and choose Assign Script. Type in our function name, which is Insert Images. Click the button and there you go, it works perfectly. Next, let's implement the same, but this time we will use a custom menu. Copy this block of code and paste this code into your script editor. This on open function runs automatically when the spreadsheet loads. It creates a custom menu called image importer with an import option that calls the insert images function. Refresh your spreadsheet to load the menu, then test it by clicking Image Importer and then Import. See, it's working exactly the same. Now, let's enhance this with a sidebar. The sidebar requires an HTML file that the script can use to display the content. Let me grab the code first. Then, in the script editor, create a new HTML file. Name it Sidebar and paste the copied code. This HTML code creates a sidebar with a clean interface, including two buttons, one to insert images into the sheet, and another to display images in a grid within the sidebar. The JavaScript handles button clicks, shows loading spinners, and communicates with the app script backend to fetch and display images. Here, you can see it's calling getImageList, which we will implement shortly. Next, update your code.js file to add sidebar functionality. First, we will modify this block to add another menu item named Open Sidebar and hook the Show Sidebar function to it. Then, we need to paste the Show Sidebar function. This function loads the sidebar.html file into a sidebar titled Google Drive Image Importer. Last bit, we need the GetImageList function. Let me copy and paste it quickly. This looks almost the same as the two functions above. It differs in a way that instead of writing to the sheet, it returns an array of objects having properties like name, URL, and thumb URL. Refresh your spreadsheet to load the newly added menu item. 
Then go to Image Importer and then Open Sidebar. Click Import Images in the sidebar to load the images. Look at that! All your images load in a clean grid. Click any image and it opens full size in a new tab. Now let's make this production ready with error handling, user-friendly messages, data safety checks, and a web app interface. Replace your code.js file with this final version. This final code block enhances our importer with robust features. The updated insert images function checks for a valid config sheet and folder ID, prevents overriding the config sheet, and prompts users before clearing existing data. The get image list function fetches image details for the sidebar, throwing errors if anything's missing. User-friendly alerts guide users throughout. The new doGet function serves an HTML page called index.html as a web app titled Property Gallery and allows embedding in other sites. Next, we need an HTML file to display as a web app. Let me copy the code first. Create a new HTML file named index in the script editor and paste the copied code. Feel free to customize the title and subtitle to match your branding. This index.html file creates a web-based gallery displaying images from your Google Drive folder in a responsive grid. It also adds a nice hover effect and shows the image name too. The JavaScript calls the getImageList function from the code.js file to fetch image data, and clicking an image opens it full size in a new tab. Now, let's deploy the script as a web app to get a shareable URL. Follow these steps. In the script editor, click Deploy in the top right corner and select New Deployment. Choose Web App as the deployment type. In the description box, enter something like Version 1. In the Execute As dropdown, select Me. Choose anyone to make the app publicly accessible or anyone with a Google account for restricted access. Click Deploy. When the deployment completes, you will get the web app URL. Copy and test it in the browser. And there it is. Your web app displays a beautiful gallery of images from your Google Drive folder, accessible to anyone with the link. So, what did we learn today? How to build a Google Drive image importer to pull images into a Google Sheet using AppScript? How to create a custom menu and assign functions for quick access? How to enhance your tool with a sidebar and publish it as a web app with a shareable gallery? How to add production-ready features like error handling, user-friendly alerts, and data safety checks. All the code and resources are linked in the description below, including a link to my blog at techlever.in for detailed level-based tutorials. If you found this helpful, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.